Hey, Maps and Mittens! Welcome to today's vlog. I'm your host, Alex. Today we're going to be looking at Wario World. Specifically, some some adverts from Wario World. Three of them, to be exact. Um, Wario World is a GameCube game that I should have, you know, I really should have talked about during Treasure Month. But, I, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of wanted to save this for, for a different opportunity. But it is a game that I'm fairly familiar with. It's a game by Treasure for the GameCube. Um, a 3D beat-em-up platformer. And it kind of feels like an outlier for the console for me. But I do really enjoy it. And I've had this copy for a long time. In fact, I don't know if you can see it. But it says I bought it for $10. dollars nine ninety nine at one point. That's how, that's how much I paid for this game. And I wish I could tell you... Hold on, let me go on eBay... And I'll tell you how much this thing goes for now, because it is definitely not that much. If go to eBay, type in Wario World. Let's see what the first thing that comes up is. Ooh, we got one for 90, 99, 69, 50, 99. I think complete in box is around 85 to 90. And that's what I'm seeing. And I do have complete in box. So $10 steal here, you know, back in whatever year I bought this. Um great so uh there you know there's a there's an aspect to this game that i that lived in my head and still does live in my head rent free and it it's done that since before i even played the game i i played this when i had a wii uh that's when i went and bought it because i think at the time gamestop or i don't know if they were still gamestop or ev games at that point but they were clearing out all of their uh gamecube games basically so i got a lot of gamecube games for dirt cheap back then and this was one of them. But before I even played this, I remember seeing an advert that we are going to watch um, that I think aired over here or something. But I, I I don't know if I saw it on TV or online or something, but it really kind of stuck with me for some reason. And we're going to watch that and talk about it. And then I have a couple other ones that I found that were kind of humorous. Um, so let's, uh, let's watch this Wario World commercial. Ready? Greed is good. Greed makes you do great things. Greed makes you do great things. Greed loves old people. Greed loves old people. Gold coins and puppies. Gold coins and puppies. It will get you everything. It will get you everything. Even if you have to pile drive your enemy to do Even so. Even if you have to pile drive your enemies to do so. Oh. Yes. Yes. For some real <laughs> Nintendo, oh shit! Nintendo marketing used to be weird, and this is like the perfect example. Um, at some point, they shift. I think I think it was around the Wii. They 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 really shift their marketing to be more of. I think like the the one I always think of, and you you probably also think of for the Wii was where the guys show up to the people's houses, and it's like we would like to play, and then like a family and the two guys from Nintendo are playing Wii Sports or you know fucking. Klonoa or whatever the hell it's it's not Klonoa but you know whatever a game they're they're marketing at that time um but yeah before that there was some weird Nintendo ads like I always think of the Smash Bros one uh where they they're all fighting in like the mascot costumes and or the Yoshi's Island one where the guy explodes this one's up there with it this one's a weird one and I think why it stands out to me it's for one it's like a political thing which you would not you would not see this today. Nintendo would not have a have a political commercial, even if it's not like blatantly political, but you know, just a a, a commercial surrounding around like the idea of a politician. Um, because I feel like that's a, that's more of a hot button topic today than, than it was back in two thousand three. Um, also, this Wario, this Wario is clearly not one modeled by nintendo it is a he is at a weird abomination of plumber kind does it show another one of them i don't know he looks a little too clay like almost it's very strange looking wario i don't like him i, I do, he's creepy and the idea that he exists in the human world and he is also a human creeps me out and he's he's working with this politician um which actually would be the most oh yeah and he steals the guy's wallet which is that that that's that's very wario but um <laughs> like imagine imagine you know going to a, a speech from 
you know joe biden and seeing this crawl out from under the uh podium or whatever whoa what the hell um oh no here's some more hold on yeah i he, he looks off he looks wrong <laughs> this wario looks wrong <laughs> uh i do like the ad though i think the ad is funny um and then it does show some of the game cute ad i like this ad i just think the wario looks weird i think maybe that's why it stuck with me is that, is that the wario just looks off for some reason the next one i have is a japanese uh wario war commercial which i'm not as familiar with but i just want to kind of wanted to see how they marketed this game in um japan because i don't know how this game did there i don't know how big war how big of a character wario is there so let's let's watch the japanese one together Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cute. They made it out of the garlic. Oh, cute. <laughs> that's like the game. Yeah. You do that. Oh, that's an awesome. Is the case... Hold on. Is the case actually... Actually gold like that in Japan? That's an awesome case. Hold on, let me look up. Uh, let me look up Wario World. Can't spell Wario World Japanese case. Does, does the case look like that? Not videos. I want the. Oh no. Yeah, look at it. That's sick. I don't know if you've seen the GameCube cases before in um, Japan, but they're like. They have sh they have sleeves, and then they, they pull out this, like, plastic shells, and then they have the game and the manual and stuff in it. Very strange design. Kind of cute. The Nintendo um, Japanese cases were always weird up through GameCube. Like, I remember, like, the A64 and stuff were, like, on their sides compared to ours. And, um, yeah, this one is bizarre as well. But I, that's a, I think that's a better case than ours. We got just Wario and a bunch of gold, you know? I, ca I kind of like that one more. Um, cute commercial. I, I liked this commercial. Um, I like the fact that it starts with the garlic and then it grows Wario hairs out and then it forms into Wario himself. Cute commercial and the little claymation action is cool. That's one of the enemies from the game that you actually get to fight. And he spins them around like he does in the game. Very cool. Very cool. This one's not too offensive. I do have a, a magazine advert that I found though. And this one you may want to... You may want to buckle up, because it's a little, uh, well, it's better if I just show you. Here we go. <laughs> There's... Part of me questions if this is real, but it's too good to be fake, right? It says, hanging with the bling bling king. <laughs> it's Wario's dumb head posted on a human body with jewelry and a big fluffy coat. And this is pile, pile drive your way to witches to witches pile drive your way to riches not witches there's no witches in this game and Wario's biggest adventure ever which is true this is his only 3D game from what I can I mean I don't know, like unless you count that Virtual Boy game which is a land game but still um, actual 3D outing this is it uh, 2003 yeah I mean it looks official I have I've never seen this advert before though Wario looks ripped look at him. He looks, he looks fucking ripped. Uh, scary. His skin looks wrong. Wario's skin looks off. See, like, see? It's like, it's too tan. <laughs> it makes it look bizarre. But I guess they're, they're trying to match the skin tone of the model that they used. Um, this one's funny. It, if I saw this, and uh, this is very 2003, I would say, if I saw this in a gaming magazine back then, I would have stopped and actually looked at it. Which was the point, right? Uh, I remember getting a lot of, um, I used to read, I'm trying to remember which ones I used to, I used to get PlayStation Magazine, which I don't think this, I doubt this would be in PlayStation Magazine, but I used to get PlayStation Magazine for a while, and then I switched over and started getting Game Informer for, for the longest time, which by that point, this ad wouldn't, wouldn't have ran. So by, I think at the time this ad would have ran, I was, I was getting PlayStation Magazine, because I, I used to get the PlayStation 2 demo discs with the PlayStation Magazine subscription, um... But yeah, this was definitely of that time. So, 
very fun looking at the the, the the Wario World marketing and how they marketed this game that you know I don't know how well it, how well it sold but um people don't really talk about Wario World that much so it's kind of cute to get to see how how it was marketed and stuff and it, it's a it's a fun game so I, I hope you enjoyed this vlog for Treasure Month uh, I thought I should pay tribute to our favorite fat boy Wario we we love him here on the channel and uh you know. I bought this game for $10, guys. Hey, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.